Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel, Divine Truth 3333. I'm Divine, also known as Auntie Bam, that auntie you can't put on speakerphone. So, yes, I cuss. I am here to bring you your messages from Spirit on this Talk To Me Tuesday that I'm doing on Wednesday. And I'm going to tell you why. It happened like that because yesterday, you know, when spirits say get up and do what I tell you to do, you have to do that. So I had to get up, out my jumped up out the bed, giving messages. So I had to give all these messages out, and they were really strong messages. I'm so glad it resonated with the people that I gave them to. Um, that man. I was tired. I was too, I was way too tired. And I was like a little kid when you when you tell a little kid, okay, it's time to go to bed. I don't want to go to bed. But you go to bed, and before they head hit the pillow, they out. That was me. I was out. And when I did get up, it was three, four in the morning, and I went right back out. So. Here I am today. Talk to me Tuesday. Talk to me Tuesday. So we're going to talk about some things. I want to talk about... Let me put this down for a moment. I want to talk about... Um, there is a... There was, there was something... Usually when I talk about things, it's something that happened. And I want to get your opinion on it. Or I want to bring it to your attention because it's something that you need to hear. So I want to talk about self-love and respect. How do you get that? How do you do that? How does one do that? Well, baby, these last couple weeks, I really have um, done some work on on myself and I reflect on a lot and some other things came up and they all came up in the part of respect and self-love now oops, look at the cards already okay strength yeah gotta have strength anyway you have to have self-love. You got to love yourself a whole lot to, in order to get respect of others. Because if you don't respect yourself, no one else will respect you. Okay. Um, self-love is what we most times put in our mind as being selfish and for the most part I have never been a selfish person I have always been giving 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 but it's not always good to give and not receive and when you receive it's like uh, I know no that's okay that no even if you receive a compliment, you counteract it with, oh, this whole thing, you know, or, oh, your hair looks nice. Yeah, but I need to do it. Or, no, accept it. Receive it. Once you receive it, it feels so good. And it's not, it's not bad. It's, you know, you have to be receptive of these things that come to you. And then you can give those same things. I don't mind when I'm out. Or I go out and tell a man, oh, you, you really look nice. I'm not trying to hit on him. I'm just, hey, brother, you really look good. Or you smell good. Oh, good smelling man. Ooh, child. And, or a, a woman, hey, that dress really looks nice on you. Or I love the way you did your hair. I love your lashes. Your makeup is impeccable. You know, anything like that. And I'm not trying to be funny or it, it just really compliments and it can make that person's whole day. But you got to feel good about yourself. When you feel good about yourself, you can, you can give that to others. And it's not bad at all. It's so good because... Um, way different. Your different ways of self-love is... 
you know, taking time out for yourself. There's nothing wrong with going to a spa, getting a massage, getting your nails done, your feet done, getting a facial, go get your hair done. It's you. However, and, 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 and if you don't feel good after that, and you need a little deeper work, you need some more work. You really do. Because those things are the things that make you feel good. Whatever raises your vibration. Whatever gets your energy from down here to up here. Work on that. Work on that. That's self-love. Go and, and even if it's taking a bath, light some candles, get you a couple rose petals. It, look, self-love. When you get that self-love, when you get it from yourself, you feel better, you change, you look at things differently. And then you don't allow people to treat you the way that you don't want to be treated or, you, or the way that you don't deserve to be treated. You get treated with respect. You get treated with so much respect and so much, look, if you're talking to me sideways, guess what I do? I will walk away. That's my walking away. I will walk away. Okay? No, you're not going to talk to me any kind of way. You're not. You talk to me any kind of way, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave you alone. I'm going to leave you alone and let you work on that. So when you come to me again, if you ever come to me again, then it's going to be totally different. And I'm not going to be like, see, that's what you need. No. I'm going to be like, okay, now we can talk. Self-love. When you love yourself, it's not a bad thing. Be selfish. Love yourself. Even for parents. Parents think that, oh, I got to put my kids first. I got, if you're not first, then your kids are going to be, kids are going to be gone. I can tell you that. And then when they're gone, then what? Then who you're going to have? You're going to go through this really bad time when your kids are going off to college or going off to live their life. And then where are you? Mm -hmm. Parents, don't feel bad that you got to go and get your nails done. Go get a nice haircut. And yes, take care of the children too. Get their, get their hair done. Get their clothes and things. But... You can always take out a couple dollars for yourself. You can always do it. And if you can't, then take that time to say, you know what? I'm going to learn how to do this myself. And I don't want no kids to bother me. I don't want my children to bother me because this is my time. And I'm going to do my hair or I'm going to do my eyebrows and my lashes and my makeup. And I just want to feel good today. That's your self-love. Talk to me, people. Talk to me Tuesday on Wednesday. Talk to me. And let me know what you do for self-love. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you do to love, love on yourself. What do you do? Okay. Oh, God. Let's get into this reading, people. I'm on fire. I'm ready to get it going. Just for you. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. It's popping. Doo -doo 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 -doo. That was supposed to go there. These come down here. Then I got one more to go right there. Oh, somebody. 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 Come on through. Somebody. Yep. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. As I'm doing this, I really love the way how, the way that I am evolving into this 
tarot thing is so beautiful and it's so much fun. I, I, it's the connection with spirit and the um, the different ways that you learn these the, the 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 messages. It's the way that you put them out and the way people receive them. It's just awesome to me. It's just awesome. Okay. Self-love and respect. This message today, your overall energy is the justice card. And the aspect of self-love and respect. Hmm. It says, take time to review the details carefully. But justice is, to me, doing justice, <laughs> loving yourself, is doing yourself justice. It's doing yourself a great deal of justice loving on you we got the high priestess once you love yourself you trust yourself the high priestess is about trusting your intuition trusting yourself loving yourself respecting yourself oh that sounds like a song right then you have balance Listen, I was just saying that, okay, so your life, you have to balance things. You have to balance, you have to balance your give and your take, your give and your receive. You have to balance your emotions, your good days, your bad days, your, you know, once you, once you get that balance going, you know, The greatest thing that we do as grown people and parents and and just dealing with life in general is that we don't take time out for ourselves. So our balance is off. And our balance can can be a great, great That balance being off can do a great harm to us. Because if you don't balance yourself, if you don't get that self, if you don't love yourself, if you don't get that respect that you want, no one will respect you. I can't say it enough. I cannot. And you're going to go through life just being miserable. Because you're going to be like, oh, I don't have the right relationship. My kids won't respect me. My, my, my co-workers won't respect me. It won't. Hey, put your foot down. But you're always giving, giving, giving. You're not receiving. And then you get to be this miserable person. It's just like, mm. And then you get whiny and nobody wants to be around you. And nobody, look, balance balance or so scales balance that out speaking of scales Libra season Ooh. justice card Libra season balance okay so then you have <laughs> the nine of cups when you love yourself all of your wishes come true because you're going to get that respect that you need in life. You're going to get that, that, that thing that you've always wanted. You're going to, it puts you in a totally different mindset and you won't be, you won't miss them, those people that disrespected you. You won't miss those people that you think you will now because you don't see it as disrespect. You just see it as, you 
kind of see it, but you're ignoring it, don't ignore it any longer. Those people that don't love you and disrespect you, they need to go. And once you get that self-love and respect, this, this nine of cups, this nine of summer comes through and that's your wish. Like, hey, that's what I've always wanted. Then <laughs> you have the two of cups, the two of summer. And with the two of summer, some of y'all gonna have a nice new love. Okay, you gonna have that nice new love and that serious commitment coming through. This is the the lover's card, the 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 love fulfillment card, and look, if it's nothing else, love yourself. Love when you love yourself, your love is going to come through. Now this message just ain't for y'all. It's kind of like for me too. So. I'm enjoying it. Then you have the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is about seeing all these things that you want and deciding on. Now, all of these cups are filled with something that you want, right? You see how that fairy there has that rainbow? And it says, no more procrastination. No more. No more waiting around to say, oh, I'll do that later. Or oh, I'll get my hair done later. I just, I got plenty of time and love on me. No, you don't. Start now. Start right now. Love on you. Start now. Make the decision to start now. And you can knock every one of those cups down. Decide on that. Work on that one. Decide on this one. Work on this. That's what this seven of cups is about. Got a lot of cups in here. Emotions. Love. Then you got this doohickey here. This card is the sun card. This is the happiest card in the entire deck. The happiest card you can ever roll up on. And baby, when this comes through, you got it. You got it. Whatever you wish for. Now see, where that card at? You know. You got the nine of summer. This it's don't it's really don't get no better. You got the lover's card, love, love, the two of cups. Then you got the seven of cups. Start now. Make some decisions. The seven of cups. Then you got the sun card. The sun card. Come on, people. Somebody needs some love. Somebody need. Somebody needs some self love and respect. Once you get it, all of this is just gonna fall through. And then here come your prince of cups. Your prince of cups. Prince of cups. It says, falling in love suddenly, being swept off your feet. He's coming through. Now, if he or she, because this is just energy, okay? This could be for males or females. If this is nothing else, this is love for yourself. Romantic. Take yourself to dinner, a romantic dinner. It's okay to be, have a dinner for one, but this is about love. This is now, now, now. This one here throws the whole thing off for me because we're talking about love and self-love and all this stuff. And here comes the kicker. Here's when you don't really love yourself and you procrastinate and put it off. And I'll work on that stuff later. 
you have conflict with yourself. You have conflict with others. This five of wands is conflict, fighting, oppose. It says opposing goals arising from differing opinions. Yeah. You don't agree. You're going to... It's not that agree to disagree. It's just not an agreement. And it's not working because it's not your self-love. You can be passive and say, okay, I'll just let it go. I'll let, but you're still going to fight with yourself inside. Let that part go. And this Eight of Swords is letting me know that you are in your own head about this. You're in your own head you have a blindfold on and you're surrounded by swords and you're bound. You could take the blindfold off, see things for what they really are and deal with it. Take those binding restrictions off your hands, remove those swords and you can fly right out of there. You can be You can, you, you know, how can I put this? Eight of Swords is that you're not seeing things for what they really are. And you're on your own head about it. Just like I said, example could be you don't want to be selfish. You want to give, 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 give. Give to yourself. Receive love to your, with your, within yourself. You can take that blindfold off. You can unbind your hands. You can, you can re remove those swords and see things for what they are and walk right on out of there with your head held high and get your respect, get your love, get everything that you ever wanted just from loving yourself. Because when you put that love energy out there, Nothing beats that. Nothing beats love energy. Okay, we're going to move on. Look, be the fool. Take that leap of faith. This is a dreamer. Take that leap of faith and do it today. To this day. Do it today. Do it now. Do it today. Just do it. Just be your true self. When you let that go, you be a true self. It's right next to each other. The princess of sorts. And the princess is usually like the messenger to bring you messages. And it can help you. It's going to help you with this card tells me it's it's something that's difficult that you really don't want to hear, that you really don't want to deal with, is coming. It's probably this darn message. <laughs> it's probably this message that I'm giving to you right now, that you need to stop what you're doing, stop that bull crap, and love on yourself on yourself. Get your love and respect from others. Get that love vibration up so that, hey, she changed. She ain't that nagging Nancy, that, 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 that bitter Betty, you know? No, because you start loving on yourself. Get this, get this message right here that you really don't want, but you're going to get anyway. You got it. Give birth to your new self. The Empress is all about taking action. The power of creating a new life. Bring birth to something. Bring birth to, you know, I'm going to tell you this. 
The Empress is a beautiful, beautiful card. And it is about being creative. It's all about be women create. We bring birth to lives. Okay. So, <laughs> if this card ain't telling you that you're pregnant up in here, then you need to get your balance and everything together, together, <laughs> and get your love, your self-love, get that going. And then when you say, hmm, I want to do this. I want to create a web page or I want to create a YouTube channel or I want to create whatever it is that you want to create and bring forth and give birth to. Once you get that love, this is what you do. Lovely, that's your message. Get some love from yourself. Love on yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself. You get respect. Get that self-love. Do something for yourself. Be selfish at least once, you know, a week. I will say... As often as you can. I'm not going to put the pressure on you and say, hey, you need, to, you need to do this. No. Do it as often as you can. And it's not selfish. It's something that you need. It's something that you need. It really is. And you will see an awesome change in yourself. You will see an awesome change in others and how people treat you. Some you might have to let go. Some will change with you. Those true ones, they will. And they respect that. Uh-oh. Okay. We're going to shuffle that over again. Well, I'm going to put another little shuffle on there. We're going to put that little shuffle on there. These are the fairy... You know, I have been calling them the angel oracles, but they're fairy oracles. Fairies, yeah, they're fairy. Fairy oracles. Fairies are little angels, right? No, I could be wrong. Fairies, fairy oracle. Come on, get this message. Hey, my shirt popping off. I can't lose none of those, you know? All right, lovelies, let's pull. No. Let's do that first. Let's do that first. Then we're going to pull. Walk away. Affirmations. Flower power. Express your individuality while I'll be dog. Mm-hmm. I've been saying that. I've been saying that this whole time. Let me, let me, let me, let me get up. Let me look here, y'all. It says walk away. This fairy is telling you to walk away. And you know when you walk away, when you have did that self-love work, when you did that love and you feeling all different and people see you like, oh, she's changed. Well... It's because I love me and I'm not going to allow you to talk to me any kind of way. So what do you do? Walk away. That's my walking away. Walk away. You walk away. Leave the unhealthy situation and enjoy the new doors that open as a result. I couldn't say it even. I couldn't say it better. I couldn't. Affirmations are important in self-love. Affirmations are so important. And you know what Spirit said? You know, you didn't say nothing about affirmations. I did not. But Spirit reminded me right here with this card that affirmations are important in self-love. You got to get in the mirror 
and say, look, you are beautiful, you are kind, you are smart, you are... There it is. That's what you do. To lift your thoughts and energy and to attract what you desire, use positive affirmations. else to say people flower power flower power spend time with flowers and flower essences to increase your personal healing power you know what spirit is all over y'all today get that self love get, get some roses roses is love you know so there it is oh my goodness here we go Express your individuality. Allow your true self to shine because you're awesome. Because you're awesome. You are awesome. Okay? You're awesome. I love you. I do, I do, I do. You need to love you. Yes, you do. Okay? Because you're fucking awesome. Freaking. Freaking awesome. But you're awesome. You are. Oh, child, look. I'm all, I'm all thumbs today. But... We can't close this out without having a little love and romance. For those in the love and romance department, love and romance. All right. That happens. It jumps out. Another thing I wanted to say. This just came to me that if you don't want to spend time with yourself, it's some shit you need to change. If you don't want to be your friend, if you are a person and you approached you, say, if I met Ingrid, oh, who's that? Who? <laughs> If I met Divine, and I said, hey, girl, hey, how you doing? And we sit down and chopped it up, had a nice little conversation. Would I want to be her friend? Absolutely. I would. Not because she's that loyal person, and she's that hurrah, and she's going to be in your corner all the time, but she's going to tell you the truth. She's going to tell you the truth. And I didn't always... Tell the truth. I just wanted to, I just, a lot of times I told you what you wanted to hear. But I have come to love myself. And I wouldn't want nobody lying to me. No matter how bad it hurts, I wouldn't want nobody to lie to me. I wouldn't want nobody to tell me something that's not true. I'm just saying. I would want, now if you cannot be that person, if you cannot be the person that, if you are that person that you can't deal with, you need to change things within yourself. You need to love yourself a little bit more. You need to take time out with yourself. And if you don't know how to do that, you need to learn how to do that. Ask some people how to do that. You need to, another thing you may need to do is heal from trauma. A lot of people have trauma in their lives and they just let it go. Like, I, I'll get over it, I'll pass it, or whatever. Okay. You got to heal past that in order to love you. I'm, okay. I, I, don't, I don't want this to be too long, y'all. Okay. Woo! Look at this. 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 You know, can I have this? Oh. Can I have this? Can I have this? I want this. I need this. Okay. So, 
You got honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. For those of you that have someone or desire someone or whatever, you know, honeymoon time. Then it says very soon. Maybe that honeymoon is very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Very soon. Now see, that honeymoon, very soon, then they're going to repeat this and say retreat. Okay? It's time to disconnect from the world. Be alone. Together. Be alone together. I love that song. Be alone. Together. Disconnect from social media and other people and just be with your soulmate. Be with your soulmate, people. Yes, this is your soulmate. And play a little bit. Play a little bit. Hey, play a little bit. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Play a little bit. If you forgot how to play, <laughs> if you forgot how to play, tune in on Fridays. When I have my Freedom Friday, baby, it's going to be lit. You better be 18 or over. I might even say 21 because I'm 18 year old and I'm ready for this. But you want to tune in to Freedom Friday. That's a place where we don't judge, we don't label, we don't do none of that, but we got some kink for your ass. You hear me? We got some spice for your life. Freedom Friday. It's coming soon. It's coming really soon. I know I keep promising y'all, but it's coming. I promise it's coming. So thank you, lovelies. I truly, truly, truly thank you for tuning in with me today on Talk To Me Tuesday. Get that self-love. Get that respect. Get what you demand. Okay? And enjoy your life. It's all about enjoying your life, okay? So, until next time, wait, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget that. Leave a comment. And if you need a personal reading or any type of those things, you can contact me in the description box below, okay? Is that everything? I think that's everything. So, Again, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you so much. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, my lovelies, be nothing short of fantabulous. Bye.